Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly uh, wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for spending uh, a few minutes with us. Uh, kindly like, share, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff to join the movement uh, of technical analysis. So hopefully everybody had a good day. Uh, obviously the big, uh, big, big story going into today was what was going to happen with Tesla? What was going to happen with Netflix? Uh, the question was, after all that really aggressive call buying that we've seen for three weeks uh, on Tesla, they were coming for nonstop millions and millions of dollars for the 300 calls were coming in. Uh, today, we saw 330s coming in, 340s coming in, 365s coming in. Uh, Netflix, right? We saw uh, $500 calls coming in ahead of earnings. We saw 530 calls ahead of earnings. And the question was going into uh, today's session was, well, what what the stock prices priced it, right? Was the price action over the last couple of months going to be priced in on their uh, earnings call? And by the time uh, the time the earnings would come out, how is going the market going to be reacted based on what they reported? And so far, we have a little bit of a, a different tale of two cities, right? The Charles Dickens novel. Let's start off with uh, Netflix. We'll start off with Netflix first. So Netflix came out with earnings, uh, absolutely phenomenal run. Okay, I don't think anybody can dispute uh, an absolute phenomenal run. The question was, was the price going to be baked into the earnings? They released their numbers. Uh, it looks like the subscriptions rose about 8% in the second quarter. Uh, that is attributed to, if you guys remember, they were cracking down on uh, password sharing, uh, you know, everything looked fine on the surface and yada, yada, yada. We got our answer very, very quickly on the first uh, first aspect of, well, is the stock based uh, baked in at their earnings? The question was no. The answer was no. Uh, after the close, uh, Netflix is down a little bit less than 6%, uh, down about 35 points. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. If you look at, uh, if you look at the run that Netflix has had, from 285 all the way to 485 uh, just in the last few months, it's really not that big of a deal. So it's getting a little bit of a pullback, profit taking, whatever the case may be. The second aspect was, well, Tesla, right? A name that I love. I traded both ways. You love it. I love it. Best stock ever. Best trading stock ever. That's not an opinion. Uh, and the question was, what were they going to do, right? So they came out with their all-time highest revenue for the quarter, okay? Uh, that is also not that great because it's also uh, because margins shrunk because they cut uh, prices. If you guys remember, they cut prices a couple of months ago, but so they're selling cars, right? They're definitely selling cars. Uh, and the question is, what's going to happen next? If you look at all the buyers that were coming in for the 300s, the 330s, the 350s, the 365s, you could turn around and say, well, the stock is not reacting to, to earnings, right? Maybe the earnings were baked in. Here's the problem, right? Tesla's not going down either, okay? If you, if you look at the five-minute chart, and I know this looks crazy, there's a lot of wicks, but if you look at the five-minute chart on Tesla ever since the initial couple of wicks, okay, the stock is going sideways. And the stock is going sideways uh, basically up about a buck after the close. Uh, Elon Musk and the rest of the uh, the gang over at Tesla, they have a conference call at 5.30. There's obviously going to be uh, a bunch of Q&A and all that good stuff. And the question is, well, not even the question. What I'm thinking, and again, this could be complete. By the time you guys watch uh, this video, everything could be changed. Right now it's uh, quarter to five uh, Eastern time. By the time they come out with uh, their conference call and all that stuff, you know, the stock could be at 350 or the stock could be at 380, uh, 280. We don't know. But as of right now, the market is saying they're very comfortable with the earnings report. Despite uh, despite the margins being shrunk or shrinking, uh, the market right now, as of right now, they're giving Tesla the benefit of the doubt. The question is, after the conference call, 
can they light the fire? I was just talking about this uh, in the webinar about, about 15, 20 minutes ago. If you guys remember, in 2022, Microsoft had one of these earnings, uh, earnings, earnings days that the stock did nothing for like the first two hours after the close. Did absolutely nothing. They couldn't quite sell it off. They couldn't quite rally it. And once the earnings conference call started up, they jammed the stock 15 points. Is it a scenario uh, that's possible with Tesla? We'll see. You know, we'll see exactly what Elon Musk said. But I tell you one thing, if, if the market does uh, embrace whatever he says, because they, again, as of right now, they're not selling it off. Again, you could be watching this video and Tesla could be down 30. I don't know. But as of right now, it's literally flat, uh, on, uh, flat on the day after hours. But if they could jam this thing after hours, right, and start getting above this 300 level, who knows? Maybe Tesla could light up. It's one of those scenarios that we have to sit a little bit patient. And usually I don't, I don't you know, put a lot of e emphasis into Tesla, but it, it has such a tight channel here after earnings. I'm going to hang out a little bit, right? I'm going to hang out a little bit and see which way uh, the stock is going to break. Because again, if they can start getting it above that 300 channel, if you could look at the high of the day today, uh, the high of the day was 299 and a quarter. If they could get above this 300 level and start jamming it, maybe all those, you know, all those buyers uh, that were were jamming it up ahead of earnings uh, into into the options market, maybe they'll come back into into the equity market uh, after hours after Elon Musk uh, stops spe starts sp stop speaking. So it's a very very uh, still to be determined type of situation uh, that we have to kind of wait till after uh, the conference call. Other than that, uh, again, a pretty aggressive session today. We had a lot of really good moves. Uh, Apple finally, I mean, look, if you go through my Twitter feed, right? If you go through my Twitter feed and, you know, I'm sitting there the whole day and I'm like, guys, this is the only stock that's not participating. It's literally the only stock that's not participating. And, and in the process, they were buying the 290, 292.50 weeklies. They were buying the 295 weeklies. I'm like, God, with all this, you know, all this, all this literally uh, call buying coming in, why isn't this stock move? I'm telling you, the market gods must have heard me because this happened, right? This happened, and I'm still, you know, like a lot of you guys in the webinar, we're still stunned. The stock just absolutely exploded. Uh, again, like we talked about yesterday, Microsoft came out with their own uh, AI PR. Well, Apple came out with their own Apple PR today, and the stock went up like six. I mean, it absolutely went nuts. Uh, obviously, I made sales uh, into this push. Um, you know, I don't believe in the whole thing. I, I need a Hail Mary up 2,000 points. Beautiful, beautiful move. Uh, the market gods heard me bitch and complain and moan for like two, three days. I was sitting there, sitting there, I'm getting frustrated. And finally, uh, the earth opened up and, you know, they parted the Red Sea. And next thing I know, uh, Apple gave us a phenomenal, phenomenal gift uh, right, uh, right before lunch. So that was uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, other than that, if you guys remember last night's uh, option flow kind of the monitor, uh, we talked about uh, Lyft had a really nice move today. You know, 50 cent move on a $12 stock is pretty good. AFRM, we talked about the last couple of days. Uh, they were coming for those $18, $18.5 uh, calls. Nice spike today. At one point, the stock went to $18.67. Uh, Amazon woke up today. Good notable call buying came in. On Amazon today for the 138 and the 140 weeklies. Again, something to watch uh, for tomorrow, but a beautiful pivot on that uh, as well. UPST continues to get really, really aggressive option flow. This has definitely been one of the bigger movers uh, in the last few weeks. A buyer came in for next week's $65 calls 4,000 times, guys. This thing is just a really, just a beast of a trader right now. Obviously, any dip. Uh, into rising five-day support uh, should definitely be uh, definitely be monitored. Uh, Meta had a nice push today. Again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, they started coming for the weekly 320 calls. Uh, an, a weird name like CPRI. I'm not really familiar with the name, but this thing is starting to come off the bottom of the range. Something guys should really watch for the next few days. If this thing starts coming on the, on the, on the bottom of the range, they were confirming, they were coming in on repeat for the November 4250 call. So why is that, you know, why is it a big deal? Well, this that's five, seven dollars uh, out of the money with, you know, with about four months, five months left expiration. But it's not one of these names that's gonna give you a beta $10 move uh, every single day. So that's a name we definitely wanna watch. One big eyebrow raise was NVIDIA, talking about an options, whoa, what the hell was that? 
Uh, they obviously have earnings in about two, three weeks. A buyer came in, get this, not for the 500 calls. A buyer came in for September, right? For September. And guys, guys keep this in mind. We're, we're almost at the end of July, right? So you're talking about August. A buyer came in for the September $600 calls. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see uh, what they do with NVIDIA going into earnings just the same way. It's going to be interesting to see on the run-up uh, with uh, Apple, with Meta, with Amazon, with Microsoft as well. But so far, this market has been uh, absolutely phenomenal. So I'm definitely going to be watching and be hanging out here a little bit longer, uh, probably to, you know a couple of more hours. I usually don't, but my kids have basketball practice today. My wife is picking them up. So I actually have the luxury here to wait. So I'm going to wait here to see uh, what happens with Tesla after the conference call. And if this thing can start building above 300, I'm definitely, definitely interested for uh, another entry. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, the today's pivots. A lot of really, really great moves. Again, this you know it all started with Apple uh, 194.50. If it confirms, this thing is going to go. Uh, we know that AI news spiked it up to 198. I mean, just was awesome. I mean, absolutely awesome. I, I didn't even have a chance. I didn't even have a chance to add above 194.50s. Once this thing just started spiking, I was like, hey, I'm getting out of this thing. This thing traded all the way up to 198s. Again, congratulations for all you guys who caught it. Uh, Amazon was really, really good. I sold it right before the close just because I didn't want to gamble. Uh, I didn't want to give anything back ahead of uh, the Tesla and, and uh, Netflix earnings, but 134 rejected several times as supply uh, needs to build. Here it was Amazon. Again, keep this in mind, guys. They, they are coming for the 137 to 140 weekly. So if Tesla wakes up tomorrow, I definitely want to keep an eye on it, buying it back above today's channel. Uh, but a nice move from 34, reclaiming the five, all the way to 36 ahead of uh, ahead of its numbers. Uh, AMD, I didn't have a chance to trade. I think it traded, I think it went right off the word go. Yeah, it went right off the word go. I didn't have a chance to trade. It went from 119 uh, all the way to 121.60s. I didn't have a chance to trade. It was way too fast. Uh, same thing with letter U. Letter U exploded, didn't give me an opportunity. Same thing with Roblox, didn't give me an opportunity. I traded Lyft. Uh, Lyft $12 needs to build. Uh, nice move on Lyft. I usually don't trade a lot of lower price names, uh, but Lyft gave us a really nice trade. Really, really nice trade. Here's the $12 break right here. Look at the move up. I traded to 1250s before everything started uh, coming up and my runner got stopped out. Uh, AFRM was really good. Uh, you know, NVIDIA never got to the 279 and 281 level. Still big numbers here. Uh, Meta, nice little pop here. 315 and 316 and a quarter needs to confirm. Uh, Meta went to just about a little under uh, one, uh, 119. Uh, th uh, 318.68 was the high there on Meta. Good job for all you guys who spiked it. Uh, Snow never got to 94. And uh, Coin caught a little scalp there. 110 to 111. I sold it in the 80s. Stalled out. This was a nice trade right here. AFRM. Uh, 18 bucks. Uh, here is AFRM. We talked about the call activity for the last several days. It took out the 18, you know, went up about 70 cents. Not a big move, but uh, nevertheless, not everything needs to be good. Uh, Path didn't do anything. Uh, I bought Path. I wound up losing 11 cents on it. It just stalled out at the whole number. That's your first clue. Once you see a stock stall out at the whole number, just get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA never got up there. If it did, it got there for seconds. And that's about it. That's about it. So ultimately, guys, pretty good session right now as we're speaking. Tesla's getting a little bit of volume coming up to the upside, trading right now uh, 293 uh, as I'm recording the video. That's up a couple of bucks, but it's all going to be predicated on uh, on the conference call that's going to start at 530. We shall see, said the blind man. We shall see. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Tomorrow night, just a, just a reminder, it's my normal uh, Thursday night off, so there is no video. If you are planning to join us in the live webinar, welcome aboard, and I look forward to working with you. Guys, have a great night, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.